Hi, my name is Jimmy Grant, I'm a fourth year politics student and I'm running for the position of Vice President of Communities. I'm planning to run because I've had amazing opportunities here at Stirling. Uh, I've done some amazing things and I've had the chance to do some amazing things and I'd like to extend, extend that um, opportunity to other students and make sure that they've got the chance to do uh, you know, what I've experienced. Three main points. The first one would be the housing report. So I'd like to establish a housing report uh, that's released annually. Um, it would be in preparation for September 2018's influx. Uh, so the hope would be it would be done by January 2018. And this would be uh, explaining the prices on, on the campus. Uh, when I was in first year, it was a terrible little PDF document and you scrolled along and you tried to find out what was on suite and what wasn't. Um, but it had nothing about private rent. Or I didn't know nothing about rent in the city, the hidden costs, transport, bills and utilities. So this report would be nice and compiled and presented to students in the first year uh, so they can, well, as they're coming in, they can make a decision. Uh, so the housing report would definitely be one. Um, I'd like to work with key stakeholders in the city. So we've got 13,000 uh, almost students here that are passionate. They've came to university for four years of their life to study a, a subject. They're going to feel really passionate about it. Um, let's get them in the city. Let's get them working with charities. Let's get them working with local government. Uh, and they can get out there on the streets and help uh, the community uh, work on initiatives, work on what's there already, uh, and, and get some work experience because that's what's really important. Um, the last one I think would be the engagement. Uh, I think engagement is the key issue here on campus and if you don't have bums in the seats, if you don't have students uh, you know, filling your meetings uh, and active in your, in your community, uh, then it's not going to be a really thriving one. So I propose a, a four step programme, it's called the OPEN programme. Um, we organise and review uh, what the union does already and what's in my remit, our future remit, uh, and we want to go over quality of policy over quantity. So we want to make sure the policy that we're actually doing uh, is going to help students. We're going to persuade the students of the benefits that the union uh, engagement entails, uh, the, the employment benefits, but also the social benefits, uh, and also the personal benefits of like, having a chance to grow. Educate students about what the union does, and also, also educate ourselves about what the union should do. There's a lot of misconceptions about what the union does, and I've been guilty of that in the past, of going in without actually knowing what the union does, uh, and a lot of people just think it's pints at the studio, but it actually does a lot. Um, Politics Society was stranded in Amsterdam and they fed, clothed and accommodated us uh, on the weekend. So that's what the union's possible, uh, uh, it's, it's possible for the union to do. And the last step would be to network and ask other universities what's good, uh, what works for you and how did you get your engagement levels uh, where they are. So I'd like to um, I'd like to build on the rent deal. Um, and people have asked why that's not been in the manifesto. It's a very fluid situation. The rent deal's only just been announced. It's going through all the proper channels and it hopefully will be implemented for summer, uh, for September, sorry. So it would have been a bit folly of me to make a policy around the deal that it's just settling down. So once the deal's been implemented and it's running, uh, my job as VP Communities would to make sure that people apply for that accommodation fund to make sure that the provisions in it are upheld and then see, working with the university, where the future of that deal is. Um, Dave's done an amazing job of getting that hard data uh, and Jess has done an amazing job of helping Dave convince the university there's a problem. Now that they've realised there's a problem, there's now future scope for increasing the fund, uh, increasing the scope of it uh, and, and seeing what other kind of specific deals can be made on, on accommodation because we've seen that overall rent prices can't be cut. It's, it's impossible because of the contract but there can be tinkering at the edges uh, and I'm glad that that has been uh, you know, established. Uh, and in terms of the private rented sector, uh, I don't have a, as an ambitious plan as perhaps Alistair does with his tenant union, uh, but as your radio showed, there was some funding problems with that uh, and some viability option, uh, problems in terms of the time scale. Um, but I'd like to explore the relationship with Stirling Council a little bit more. Uh, any long term housing strategy uh, is going to require local government uh, help, so they need to get around the table and work with the university to develop an on-campus strategy, but also one that works for the city. Because most of the students do live in private accommodation and in the city. So that's a conversation that I'd like to facilitate and it needs to be had. I've got the experience. I've been in the union for a while now. I was on elections committee. I'm your communities officer this year. Um, I've been involved in the politics society, uh, the SNP society. I was a member of the fencing club. I've done some with stuff with debating. I've written for Brig. Like I've got a good general grasp of how clubs and societies function and the wider community functions. Um, so I think that experience is really valuable. 